Hi, I'm Kenna Klosterman, and I am here with Kelly Brown. Kelly, so excited that you're coming back to Creative Live. Yeah, I can't wait. It's going to be great. I have heard that one of the biggest things that people have been struggling with and are excited to learn about uh, is marketing. Yeah, and it's incredible because I've had so many emails over the last couple of years since my first class, and the majority of them is all marketing. How am I reaching these people? I can't get clients in the door, so I'm actually going to have a massive segment on that, and I've put lots of content into it. So Hopefully, I'll be able to answer everybody's questions. It has been about 18 months or so, right, since your last Creative Live? Yeah. What are some of the things that have changed dramatically for you in that time um, that you're, we're going to see in your 30-day boot camp? I think, for me personally, I know just my confidence. Being able to go on Creative Live that first time, I was, I was really nervous. Like, I'd never put myself out there like that before and to share what I love doing with so many people and I had no no idea how many people were actually going to be watching and to be interacting with them since that first class mm -hmm. and now be coming back and to hear how excited they are I'm I'm just over the moon to have the opportunity and to do it again it's going to be incredible do you have any particular stories that like is there anything that that speaks to you that you've heard from somebody out there of how what they've learned from you has changed their life or their business? Oh, there's just so many. There's like I get beautiful emails from people that actually take the time to write to me and it it's in, it's 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 an honor. Like I it's But are so, there any that like stick they, out to you? Yeah, there was a, a one lady and she wrote to me from um, Germany mm -hmm. and she just said like she didn't know what to do with her life and she always loved photography and she loved babies so she she started this newborn photography career and she said that she owes it all to me. So I was like, wow, that's... How does that feel? That's incredible. Words can't describe how it makes you feel. It's, it, like I said, it's a complete honor to, to, yeah, I mean, like, we're here at WPPI at the moment and I had a couple come up to me last night and it was quite crazy because they said they actually watched me in bed. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, How does that make you yeah, feel? Yeah, that was awkward. But it's so good because they were like, you know, we love you. We feel like we actually know you because we've been able to watch and listen to you over and over again. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just amazed and I'm so grateful that people actually take the time to, to tune in and watch. It's, it's really lovely. So I was talking with, to you about this earlier, uh, but... As you know, I started, I wanted to be a newborn photographer, and um, I had only done about three shoots, and I had a wonderful client who um, I did a maternity shoot, and she loved the images, and I was very proud of the images, and so she asked if I would photograph her twins, newborn twins. Oh, wow. So I said yes, um, even though I'd never photographed twins before, uh, and they were seven days old, and I was there for like four hours. <laughs> <laughs> it was a long time. It was way too long. And it was a complete disaster for me. I was never able, the twins were never asleep at the same time. I didn't feel like I was in control. I didn't feel like I knew what I was doing. And after that experience, I was crushed. And I decided that I was not, I couldn't be a newborn photographer. Yeah. Pretty much couldn't be a professional photographer. Or I didn't think I could. I totally lost confidence. And I'm just thinking now about, uh, it's because I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. Like, why did I think that I just should automatically know what I was doing? Um, what, what do you have to say to that person? Um, because that, I feel like, is the person who's going to be watching your class, potentially. Yeah, definitely. Um, and, and I have received so many stories that are similar to yours. And it is, because... I think today, and even back then, when you're looking at baby photos, they actually don't look that hard to do. But when you're in, in deep, oh and you're there, and you, you, you're working with these little babies that don't necessarily go to sleep at the same time, and, and you know, are hard to maneuver, and you're not sure where to touch them or how to do it, um, it is because you don't know what you're doing. So it's, it's like, don't give up. It comes with practice, lots of patience. And if you really love what you do, then you should just do it and keep working at it because, you know, Rome wasn't built in a tape. No. It takes a long time, <laughs> and I've been doing this for a long time. So it's, um, it's really nice to be able to share some of my previous work that people didn't know that I was doing, you know, eight years ago, and to be able to compare it to what I'm doing today, you can see a massive difference. Yeah. So, yeah, don't lose faith for anyone out there that is watching, you know, because it does take time. Well, I can't wait for your newborn photography boot camp on Creative Live. Yeah. Uh, coming soon.